as long as there's a United States, Israel will never be alone. It's hard to find the right words. It's beyond what anyone would ever want to imagine. A baby, an infant, riddled with bullets, soldiers beheaded, young people burned alive, normalized relations among its countries, people working in common purpose to common benefit, more peaceful, more stable. Then there's the path that Hamas has shown in stark, clear light, terror, destruction, nihilism. The choice could not be more clear. We know the choice that we're making, our partners are making. We have work to do to carry it through. In all that I did today, I was supported by an exceptional team here in Israel. Uh, it's been doing crucial work in incredibly difficult conditions, led by a remarkable charge d'affaires, Stephanie Hallett. Stephanie's doing an extraordinary job. We also look forward to welcoming our future ambassador, Jack Lew, to Israel. As many here know, Hamas launched its attack on Simchat Torah. This is the day that Jews celebrate finishing the reading of the Torah. This Saturday, Jews around the world will chant the first words of the book of Genesis. They'll read that in the beginning, there was darkness, and then there was light. That the first person was alone until a partner joined them. I'm standing here today alongside our Israeli friends and all those who reject terror to help find the glimmers of light, even in this moment of deep darkness, and to make clear that as long as there's the United States, Israel will never be alone. With that, I'm happy to take some questions. So uh, we did see uh, photographs, videos that the uh, Israeli government shared with us. Uh, some, I think, has actually already been seen uh, in um, uh, public media. Uh, others were, were new to me and, I think, uh, new to our team. Uh, it's hard to find the right words. It's beyond what anyone would ever want to imagine, much less actually see and, God forbid, experience. A baby, an infant, riddled with bullets, soldiers beheaded, young people burned alive in their cars or in their hideaway rooms. I could go on, but it's simply depravity in the worst imaginable way. It, it almost defies comprehension. And as I've been saying to me, it, in, the, in the most immediate future, harkens back to ISIS and some of the very things we saw when it was on its rampage that thankfully was stopped. So I think for any human being to see this, it's, it's really beyond almost anything that we can comprehend, digest. And I just add that when you, uh, when you see this, you try to imagine, maybe not try, you, you, you can't help but imagine yourself, your family, your loved ones, your friends in that situation, in that predicament. And maybe the best word for it for me is overwhelming. I think what it's done is, as I said, united a country in profound grief, but also united a country in resolve. And it's imperative that the rest of us share that resolve.
नमस्कार मैं हूं मानक गुप्ता अगर आपको हमारा ये वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो इसे लाइक और शेयर जरूर करें और हाँ हमें सब्सक्राइब और फॉलो करना ना भूलें ताकि आप देश और दुनिया की कोई खबर मिस ना करें तो जुड़े रहिए हमारे साथ और देखते रहिए न्यूज ट्वेंटी